Thanks for joining us. There's now a warrant out for the for a Minnesota man in the wake of a Care 11 investigation that exposed a connection in our state to an international puppy scam ring. Here's investigative reporter AJ Legault with the latest in a scam that has left broken hearted dog lovers across the country. This Twin Cities man, Desmond Indakwe, now has an arrest warrant out for him. He's charged with theft by swindle. It comes after Carol 11 investigates uncovered evidence that he's the man in this video from a Rochester, Minnesota Walmart picking up $700 in cash wired by a woman who thought she was buying a puppy online. Other people across the country say they've been taken in too sending money to someone they thought was a dog breeder in Minnesota. Dirty, rotten scammers. This retiree lost $380. So now I don't have the money or the dog. The scam, which involves hundreds of websites, rips off thousands of victims every year, according to BBB International Investigation Specialist Steve Baker. This is an international criminal gangs out of mostly Cameroon that are operating this. They do this all over the world. And Carol Levin learned there's often a Minnesota tie. This Federal Trade Commission report from 2014 on puppy scams describes a Minnesota cell that has national reach. But until now, no one had been charged. Our investigation led us to Desmond Indakwe, a Coon Rapids man already facing charges for possession of fake IDs. After Carol Evans' report aired, Indakwe was charged in connection to the puppy scam, but failed to show up at his arraignment, leading to this warrant for his arrest. Well, Indakwe denied involvement in the puppy scam when we tracked him down. The warrant asked for him to be apprehended and arrested without delay and brought promptly before the court down in Rochester. And you can read and watch our full investigation on care11.com. So now okay. they have to find him. That's now they got to find him. That's going to be the trick. Yeah. Thank you, AJ. Thanks, AJ.